and welcome to this new guide on sheep on Farm Simulator 22. So I have placed four different um, pastures for the sheep down um, and I have been feeding them with grass. I've just had some very interesting, very interesting results. And I'm going to walk you through them. Um, and then we're going to have a very quick look at the base game processing as well as um, a modded processing plant. See what's quicker, see what cycles faster, etc. Now, you want to know what's interesting? I'll tell you. Now, these beautiful little sheep here, um, the Black Welsh Mountain, not only do they produce more wool, they eat less grass. Um, so each one of these had a spare bale outside. And these ones, um, so these little guys, uh, I can never pronounce this. Is it Steinschkaff? I'm sure someone is going to um, help me with that pronunciation. Uh, these guys have chomped all the way through their grass and it's almost, it's starting to run out here as well in the trough. They did produce more wool. Um, they produced about the same level of wool, but they ate more grass. Now, in third place, there is actually another one. I'm, I, I'm, I'm kicking myself now that I didn't put all of the four in separately. But hand on my heart, I know that these ones out of um, are the best at producing wool and grass. I just never compared them side by side like this. These guys. These are hungry monkeys. So the Swiss Black Brown Mountain, they're beautiful to look at. Oh, hello! <laughs> oh, that was great timing. And now my dog is barking at it. Oh, this is comical. Roxy isn't too sure about <laughs> the animals on screen. So, yeah. Anyway, so what is interesting is they munched all the food and they produced no additional wool whereas all the others had an extra pallet plus 362 litres these guys only had 362 litres so if you want pretty sheep go for these but you need to feed keep them well fed and they don't produce as much wool now these are definitely not the black sheep of the family these are these are the winners black if you want to feed them less and um and get a good amount of wool the black well sheep mountain they're, they're brilliant i've actually just put down a pasture which holds 45 it's only twenty five thousand. let me just show it to you um bu -bu 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 -bu. is this one here it's a mod outdoor pasture mod uh 45 it has the water plumbed in so you don't even need to worry about the water and you can feed them grass or hay completely up to you uh i just bailed some hay um sorry grass and uh, i just drive it up with um my skid steel loader place it in front and it actually automatically keeps filling up um, for the sheep. I will just show you now, so this is my setup, I've just got a, a fork on the front with my skid still. Hope you like I'm wearing sunglasses, it's a very nice sunny April day here on Western Wilds. The only issue is, because I've bailed these quite large, I think they're 5,000 litres each, this skid of course you can't put a weight on the back of these so you'll see in a moment I have a little weight issue going on so this isn't an ideal piece of kit for this scenario um, so next time I'm going to bale much smaller bales 
so I don't have this issue. Uh, I do have a telehandler on site, so I could use that. So my suggestion is this is a great setup, but just do much smaller bales. Um, or get um, a piece of kit where you can put a weight on the back. So anyway, now is the time to go to have a look at the production chains. So I've put down both of the spinneries, which are in the base game. Um, so it's this one here and this one here. This, uh, the swill is that swilling spindle? It's quite a nice name. And I've also put the base um, tailor shop down. And then I've all, I've put down the all in one production mod, which is twenty five um thousand pounds dollars euros to buy and it produces so much this i actually have this mod uh over the other side of my farm as well i use it a lot um and i'm a massive fan of it Ooh, in fact it's it's been distributing things over here which i didn't want it to do um so let me just go and play with the settings um so before I go and switch all of these to start working, um, so fabric wool and then clothes, let's get these switched on. I just want to make sure they're storing. Good, okay, storing, storing, storing. I'm just, while I'm here, I'm just going to, because I've got everything set to distributing. So this, um, of course, has decided, I didn't think for a second that it was going to start sending stuff over here, which was very silly of me. Um, so I'll just get that all to distributing back again. Uh, yeah, perfect. Okay, and I'm going to need to move these out of the way so that we get some space for the spawning. Lovely. Okay. So let's go through this again. So with this mod, um, the fabric runs at 48 cycles a month. It costs 120 pounds, but at 600 litres of wool produces 30 litres of fabric. And then the clothes ratio is 30 litres of, uh, sorry, 90 litres of fabric to 45 litres of clothes. So our next one, I'm going to come back to the tailor shop in just a second. So I'm going to switch them all on, then I'm going to put the, I'm going to run as fast as I can and put everything down nice and quickly. Um, let's have a look at this one. So this spinnery here is a hundred uh, sorry 1440 cycles a month same price so that's actually more cycles and that's a two to one ratio so that's pretty good and the spinnery next door is exactly the same now the tailor shop is a two to one ratio 1080 um uh, but it's 240 a month. So there is a little bit of a difference here in price. Um, there is a big difference in the production cycles. Um, but there's also a very big difference in the price and the cost to place, which I'm going to go through in a minute. But while I'm here, I'm just going to put the game down to 0 0.5 so I can run um to, between each one now here i have a thousand and 362 liters so i'm going to put exactly the same amount in to each um spinnery there we go 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 And then we're going to talk about the co cost difference between the production chains. Did that go? Yep, great. Just got to run to one more. What I like is they're light, so you can just 
throw them on. Okay, let me talk to you about the costings. So, of course, this one here, um, let me show you in the production and factories. I am going to start with the all-in-one, and the reason is, it is so cheap. £25,000. Um, it can do as it says on the tin. It can produce a lot. It takes a lot of produce in and produces a lot of products out. Uh, 25000 And of course you don't need the spinnery and the tailors because it does it all in, all in one. So that's something to consider. Okay, the one next to it um, is the tailor shop. Now the tailor shop is here. This is a hundred thousand pounds. So we're looking at four times the value. So you could have four all in ones for one of these. Um, but the cycle is higher. So it depends on what you are looking to achieve. Okay. Um, if you've got a lot of sheep, then you're going to need a lot of processing power. So um, that's a hundred thousand. Then the other spinnery, the one next to the tailor shop, that is so this one here, that is sixty thousand. So you could get at a push two, maybe three for the price of the all-in-one but again you've got a higher cycle rate and then last but definitely not least is this spinnery here they're just different styles basically they have the same cycle rate they're the same price they do exactly the same thing um, but they just look different and it depends on what your what look and feel you're going for on your farm for me I I don't really have too much of a theme on this particular farm, so it's, it's not a big deal. Um, so now let me just speed this up a little bit. I'm going to go to times 30, um, so we can start to see this wool processing. As you can see, that is now doing its thing. That's at 5 litres, 6 litres, yep, perfect. Now let's go and have a look at this one. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so that's at 6 litres, 7 litres as well. So it is, it is moving along um, quite nicely. I'm just going to move these back round here. If I put this in, it should... Sorry, a little bit of housekeeping whilst we're here. Um, I just want to ensure that we that can spawn properly for us. Uh, and then we'll speed up the time a little bit further because, of course, we're looking at... Um, it's at 21 litres at the moment. Ooh! I don't know if anyone else gets that. They sort of, sort of, it jumps up in the air and throws things. All right, let's speed up time. What I'm doing at the moment is I'm just going along. Can you see that's 137, 140? So it's, it is flowing faster than the all-in-one production. So we know that these two are definitely flowing faster. So that's 221, 25, this is 239. Yeah. Okay, so we can see that spending more money here. Oh, thank you, and it's raining. <laughs> Thanks, rain. Um, adds to the atmosphere. So we can see that it is doing exactly what we expected. The cycles are higher. It is producing things faster. It's also churning through that wool a lot faster. And what I'm thinking right now is, am I gonna have enough wool in here for it to produce its first fabric? I don't think I am. So let me just put this back down. Can you see there's m more fabric than wool? Yeah, 
I'm gonna need to go get some more wool. Let's see how this one's doing. It's about the same. So you can see the wall in there is 393. Close is 362. So that's actually a, uh, a worse ratio. So let me just go grab some more wool. I did that. My um, my sheep have been producing, so it's they are new to this farm, but they they have been producing. So I'm. I do have stuff to put in. There we go. I know I could just grab a fork, a forklift or something, but uh, sometimes you just want to grab and run. Although I'm not doing much running here. I would love to know, is anyone else in the comments getting this funny thing where when you run, sometimes the, the pallets jump up in the air? I'd love to know if anyone else is having that. Okay, so that's another thousand litres each in there. Um, I don't know if I have another thousand. I'm going to have to make a thousand, aren't I? So that's 349. Three... Three, six. Yeah, so we're going to put another three. So this would be the time when it would be handy to have something to carry this all over. But we're going to we're going to do it the hard way. Um, and we're waiting for the water process anyway. You may as well stay here with me through this whole process. that's one I'm probably going to need something anyway um, with the fabric I bet the fabrics going to be too heavy to pick up so I will go and grab a forklift while this is all processing but let me just get this one in here and then I'll bring the others up in a second So at least we've got that on the way. Got some honey there. I have my beekeeping. This is my test. I've now made this my test um, map. So I, I add and remove production chains and I do use the fields so that I have products so that I can test, but production chains I add and remove on here now although I have kept the maple trees just because they look beautiful okay just trying to think what I would like to use actually I'm going to, hopefully I don't make you all really dizzy now, I'm just going to click through, there we go, I'm going to pull my telehandler over with the bag loader, that'll do the job. I don't actually have a weight on the back of here, I need to put a weight back on, um, yeah that was a long story, but it will be able to handle It'll be able to handle what we need to do here. Okay, actually, whilst I'm thinking about this, I'm going to get the time running again a little bit faster. See if I could put those two together. If you haven't used this before, I I, I will show you this bag. Um, I'll show you this in just a second. It's amazing. 
so if you go you need to download it from the mod hub let me find it let me find it it's the problem when you have too many mods and actually I don't have that many in comparison to what's available there, mm, there we go so big bag and support package and it's the big bag winch that's the one that you want um, and I just put it on the front of a telehandler and it's just brilliant okay it's getting dark now we still don't have any fabric at the all in one productions do we have anything around here yet not yet let's jump out and have a look so it's 713 718 liters let's go and have a look to see how this one's doing 540 But that's actually making the clothes at the same time. Can you see that? Let me just open this up. So what's happening is because I've got these on at the same time, as the fabric is being produced, it's automatically making the clothes because I've got that set. So can you see? It's going straight to clothing. So it's using the fabric, which is being produced automatically and make and yeah so maybe that's the big loophole we don't have that second we don't have to wait for the fabric to be pre completed for the clothes to be produced so this is going to be tight because can the question is can this tailor shop take the fabric and produce that quicker than that can turn out the clothes now this just got interesting didn't that okay so we're, I'm assuming it's going to come out at a thousand liters so when we get close to a thousand liters I'm gonna slow the time back down because at the moment these the spinneries are still producing fabric they haven't, we haven't even started the clothes with the base base mods um, base production change yet. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, let's go to 15. Let's get in the telehandler and get ready to grab. Now this this one technically should come out first. And I'm gonna run as quick as I can to take this to the tailor shop. I'm being impatient now. 83, 90. I don't want to turn the time too quickly so that I can't give myself fair enough chance to put it in the tailor shop so that we can get an idea of how um, which, which production chain is going to give me my clothes fastest. Right now, I actually think it's the one with the lowest cycles because it's doing it all in one. It's, it's not having to wait for that 1,000 litres, then put those 1,000 litres to another location. Unless if I had it set to distributing, would that then not wait for the 1,000 litres? So we'll test that afterwards just to make sure. Because at the moment, I've got this set to storing. So let's, I, I, to be fair, I'm going to do, test that as well. Okay. Here we go. Now my job is to go as quick as possible. Get this to the tailors.
Okay, that's good. Okay, that's processing. Excellent. Have we got one round here yet? Yes, we have. Good. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to distributing. Because then if that's the case... Because technically that other one is set to distributing. Um, and it's 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 going from one to the other. Does this wait for a thousand litres, then distribute it? Let's find out, shall we? And I apologise, it's very... I know it's quite late at night now, so it might be quite hard to see what's going on. <laughs> but I do want to do this as live as possible so we can get some good comparisons okay so that's going in let's have a look we have any clothes yet? no? but 770 litres worth of clothes Okay, so the fabric's in and the clothes are now running. See, there's not enough wool in there to do this test. So we're going to need to go grab some more wool. My big question is, do, does this spinnery wait to the a thousand, to a thousand litres then distribute? That's my big question. Let me turn some lights on so I can see exactly what I'm doing. That would be helpful, wouldn't it? Right, let's get this into that second spinnery. accepted there. I'm going to need to feed those sheep as well. Oof. Okay. One thing at a time. You going in? There we go. very quick and very random I've never tried to do this just want to see if this big bag handler will pick up whoopsie a grass bale oh wow yes it does okay that's that problem solved all right let's feed you while we're here just need to give that a little nudge there we go that'll keep them happy for a little bit and I'll go back and grab some more in a minute well that's a bonus I just need one of these hella handlers on every single corner of my farm I use them for forestry oh goodness and now I can use them for that I've just overshot that completely Right, let's have a look. Okay, so the fabric did move over, didn't it? At the hour. 
So at the hour, if you have this set to distributing, it will move over to the tailor shop. So every hour, it will move. So let's just speed up time and watch that happen. So then you don't have to, so that's 23, 26. So with the this, it obviously doesn't move. Um, let me just take the time down again. So of course, this one you put the wool in and it just starts straight away. It doesn't even wait for the hour. Um, but what is interesting is this hasn't yet produced a thousand litres. Whereas though these two at the end have already produced a thousand litres, they're already in the tailor shop and every hour they are sending, and this one we'll do in a second, they are sending to the tailor shop every single hour fresh wool that they've produced. Um, let's send that to distributing. So in the next hour that will go to the tailor shop. The only thing is with me running the one at the end is these two spinneries will also send it to this one here they will send fabric there as well as here so if you're running two tailor shops it's going to distribute equally um to two of them that's why when you look at this here it's a thousand seven hundred um and this one's increased ever so slightly um so it, that's something to consider. Say so you have 70 litres of fabric there. That's come from the spinnery. So it's just, it depends on what you're looking to achieve, I suppose. Whether speed is important to you, and if so, these obviously cycle much faster, as long as you've got them set to distributing. But your outlay for these two is 160,000 to 25 so now looking at the cycles this one was was it 400 um so let's have another peek so it's 48 and that one's 24 cycles whereas this one again let's just remind ourselves 1080 and 1440 there's a significant difference um, in the the cycles if you have a small operation with a small amount of sheep and you want to start producing clothes then it's an absolute no-brainer to start with something which costs you 25 pounds or 25,000 sorry because you're not going to be producing enough wool but if you are producing a lot of wool, then you are going to need um, production chains which can handle that level of, of wool. Um, and it may, may get to the point where actually you need, if you have a very large sheep farm, you might need two spinneries, you might need two tailors just to keep up with the flow. Um, but I hope you found this video useful. I actually also learned something at the same time comparing these together it's something i wanted to do um as i really want to get back into sheep farming um when i started the game um what was it three four months ago now i struggled with the sheep farming because i was producing too much wool and the i wasn't producing enough fabric for the tailor shop um so it may be a case that two spinneries are needed to one tailor shop i think it's just going to be interesting i'm going to keep coming back here and just testing this out for a few days um and seeing what combination works and just enjoying it really i i love having the sheep they're so low maintenance all they need is grass um they're they're so easy to look after it and it, i i think it's worth it if you're re really into animal farming on here um they're a great addition aren't they
thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe and most importantly have a great day goodbye now